Hey, sneaking in as well today. As you can see, we're in XFCE, and you're going, well, it looks a bit of a mess on the desktop. Yes, well, I totally agree with you. But this is Unity Linux 2011 Alpha 2. Now, this distro nearly didn't exist a couple of weeks ago. It was going to fold, basically. But they've come back from the jaws of death, and it's going to be changed completely, okay? So it's not going to be like it used to be at all. But the difference is at the moment, the download is around about three to 400 megabytes to download, so it's really small. There is no graphical installer anymore. It's terminal only, all right? Terminal only. But it's really, really easy. Really, really easy. So if you've never installed anything via the terminal before or from the command line, this will be a good baby for you to start your little play with in virtual box or something or an old machine. Anyway. I'll show you what I've done. Now, when you download, actually install it and get it going, it doesn't actually come with anything. And when I say anything, it doesn't even come with a browser that bloody works, actually. Nothing at all. But, of course, you can install whatever you like via the command line. Okay, there's no graphical package installer either at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to open our web browser, and we're going to boogie on down when it gets its backside in. It's better. Yeah, there we are. Unity Linux, this is the page that's static anyway, so this is not the most current page, okay? But do you remember Tiny Me, Chameleon, Sam, and Unity HU? We're all dist, well, dist, they're not dist, no, they're all based on Unity Linux, which uses the RPM packages for all the stuff. Yes, it does. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to type in Unity, and we'll go straight down to it. No, 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 no. Should I put Unity Linux? It'd be easier, wouldn't it? There we go, Unity Linux. There we go. And I'll show you the new page. Right, here we are. This is the new Unity Linux page. It tells you all about the problems we've been gone through, etc. Et I'm not going to go too much into it, but all I'm going to tell you is they're going to base it on the Mandriva packages now, which are RPMs, as you know. So they're not going to have so many staff packaging stuff, okay? So although they'll have some of their own stuff, a lot of it will be coming from Mandriva. Oh, yes, indeed. So that's just some of the things. No, you, I told you no graphical installer and all that, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, that's that. So the browser works. That's Firefox, by the way. Okay. I've installed a lot of applications to make sure they all work. Right. Not all of them work. Some of them do. Okay. Some of them. Not all of them. Only some of them. Yes. Okay. MSN works. Chromium wants to think about it. Firefox works, Opera works, Pigeon works, Skype works, XChat works. Under Office, Abbey Wood works, Other works, okay, Modern Media, Audacity. I can't remember if that works or not yet. Let's click and find out. It might be one of the ones. No, it works, lovely. Audacity works. Applications again, okay, graphics works. Right, Blender works, Inkscape works. Oh, yes, it does, works. And you can get Inkscape Lite as well, okay. You can also get Inkscape Lite at your local vendor. Right, you're saying to me, how do I install stuff? Well, quite easy, really. Fire command line, so you open a terminal. There's probably a shortcut for it somewhere. I don't know where. So anyway, we type in smart, install, and then so we say gnumeric, okay? So G numeric. I think I spelled that right. Right, let's see if it can find it, okay? Let's have a look. Is it gonna be there? It should be in theory, shouldn't it? I think on the Xbox upstairs, actually. So it will be a slow download, but I can just go and do something else while it's downloading. Right, GNumeric is there. Do you want to download it? Yes, it's 11 megabytes. So, click Y, enter, and, 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 and off we go. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Is it? It's downloading quite reasonably fast, but it reckons it's going to be around about a lot of minutes. Okay. So, yeah, anyway. So this is how you install stuff. <clears throat> we'll say I've installed everything here because there's no GUI for anything. Now, as far as I'm aware, <clears throat> there is going to be no graphical installer at all. It's going to be more like Arch. They want it to be more like Arch. It's going to be a rolling release continually and see if they can keep going. I mean, the last time I used Unity Linux, it just got good as well, which is really a real pity. So I hope they can just get back from the roots of death and get it working and everything going hunky-dory again. I, mean, I, I don't really know what went on in, inside their own little thing, but obviously it was bad, okay? Well, look at that. It's all downloaded. Is it going to install correctly? Some of the stuff does and some of the stuff doesn't. But bearing in mind, it is an alpha 2. Remember, it's an alpha, basically. It's just an alpha. Okay. Saving my cash. How much cash you got? I've got some cash. you got some cash? Right, it's done. Now, in theory, we shouldn't have to restart. Okay. If we go down to Office, 
Gene America is there. Now, is it going to open? Oh, that was nice and quick, wasn't it? Lovely. So that's how you install stuff. So if you want to play around with a CLI installer or a terminal installer and stuff like that and have a play with it, go download it. It's not too big and give it a go. Now, if enough of you want me to, I will do an install for you via video. So if you, about five or ten of you say, yeah, can you do the install video, I will do for this distro. But on the whole, as it's an alpha, I think it's going to get a lot better and hope the full release candidate will come out real soon before Christmas, maybe, and it will be hunky-dory, okay? So I'm not going to give it how many out of five, because there's no point, because it's an alpha, and there's still stuff that you're doing. But I'm just telling you what's going on with Unity Linux. Nothing to do with Ubuntu, by the way. Nothing at all, before some of you say, it's not banking. Anyway, sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>